Greetings, fellow Ambazonians. This is the Deputy Defense Chief, Capo Daniel. I want to send out this very brief message to our people in Oko and also in Bamenda. I want to inform our people that we have noticed the, the 80 bikes that was allegedly to be supplied by Cameroon government to vigilante groups in Bamenda. And uh, it was a prank. As a matter of fact, only nine of those work, of, of those um, motorbikes were shared and we suspect that they were shared to to Cameroon plain clothed military men. There are no vigilante groups in Bamenda. The anti-liberation vigilante group that was attempted to be created in uh, Old Town had been uh, destroyed and have been disbanded. We, we don't have any vigilante group that fights against our freedom fighters in Bamenda. And the second thing is in Oku, our, the war council have completed the investigation in Oku. So from this Saturday, roads will be reopened in Oku for Saturday and Sunday only. We will see how it goes, if everything goes smoothly. On uh, the 22nd, road will be fully open back to the population in Oku. Uh, after the investigation, the nine women who were hired as Takambangs were just simple victims. They were victims of Cameroon bribery and the, the man that was used to bribe them was the head of Nshinda. He was being used, so he also is a victim. All of them will be released. The war council have approved the decision made by our forces on the ground. All of the corporates will be released uh, without any harm and without any money collected from their family. So they will be released uh, subsequently, probably tonight. And uh, concerning the, we had also stopped villagers in, in areas where the Cameroon government had bribed people to try to overpower our forces. We had stopped them from going to farms out of Oko. So that also have been been uh, been relieved. Farmers in, in Oko can now travel out of their village to go and, and do their, their cultivation out of Oko. So all those things have been resolved. So we will continue to resist Cameroon occupation. We will continue to fight all internal enemies who are for prey from uh, Cameroon agents who have been bribing them to use them against the freedom of their own people and to put to jeopardy the freedom and the aspiration of our people. We will fight them as vigorously as we will fight the external enemy